Hi there, this is Sheena Rowlands and today I'm sharing with you my latest layout for Hey Little Magpie. For this layout I'm using the 49er Market Art Options Alina, which I'm just showing you there. Uh, beautiful range actually, and I, I did get all the bits and pieces to go with it because I thought I'm going to make the most of it. So there's a photo of my recent uh, addition to the family, my daughter-in-law, and I'm going to use this 12 by 12 as the base. So I'm just looking through the 6 by 8 pad, see um, I'm looking for some papers to use in the background. Uh, so I'm looking colours just to complement this uh, peachy 12 by 12. In the 6 by 8 pad you'll find that a lot of the papers are repeated. So I'm just using a circle template here and I'm going to just draw a circle because I'm actually going to cut that out the centre of this 12 by 12. I'm going to come in with a glass mat and a blade. Uh, I could cut around the template but I just thought I would end up keep moving it so I'm and I'm going to distress it eventually so I'm not too worried if it's not absolutely perfect um, so I'm just going around this with a blade. Now what I will say is these uh, papers from 49er Market are beautiful quality and lovely and thick so it's going to take me a couple of goes to actually cut that circle out. So the idea is I want to back that circle uh, and it's a little bit wider than the 6x8 papers so I'm going to use um, some from a 12 by 12 as my first layer. I'm going to use two layers of paper. Don't I prefer not the pink, I'm going to stick with the peachy colour. So just trying to figure out how to work it out. So that's the circle I cut out. I want a bigger circle than that because I want to be able to adhere it behind the original 12 by 12, if that makes sense. So that layer is going to go over the top of that layer. And then I'm going to have a smaller layer in the centre and originally I was going to cut the original circle then I realised no I'd made a mistake I needed to cut this peachy layer into a ring. Um, honestly the brain power that went into this layout <laughs> uh, but then you can learn from my mistakes. So what I'm doing is creating I want three depths of layers for this uh, layout. Uh, the picture shows uh, my daughter-in-law in the car and I like the idea of looking in so that's the, um, the thought process behind creating this layout. And this background, the, the, the 12 by 12 that I'm using as the main body of the layout is just so beautiful that I'm, I'm, I wanted to keep all the design. So there's the photograph and I, the idea is I'm going to tuck it in in the lower level. So now I'm, I want to raise the levels. So you could use foam pads but I decided I would use some sheets of foam. I've used a pencil just to draw a circle and I'm cutting that circle in the centre wider because I don't want it to actually show uh, when, you, when it's all put together. So I brought in another layer. So I've got base circle, the orange foam, the ring of peach, the black foam and then the layout on the top. Does that make sense? Um, so the idea is I'm now going to stick those layers, layers together um, when I've decided that actually that's exactly how I want it to look. And I'm wondering what layer to tuck the photo in, but I go for the base. So I'm now looking for bits and pieces to um, embellish this with. So I'm looking for a couple of layers to go behind the photograph. And in the uh, 49er Market, they always seem to do some um, die cuts to cut yourself. So I think that's from the 6x8 pad. It's just a peachy, like a file folder. And I'm, I tend to trim some of these and use them as I go. I'm wondering whether to use that peach again or whether to have a look in the die cuts. And in fact, I found a postcard and I think with the peach stamp that would look really nice as well. So I'm now thinking, how do I want to decorate the edges? So I want to add to the flowers. I do like this die cut, but there's quite a lot of white around it actually. So I'm starting to think maybe I should use the rub-ons. Now they are well known for their rub-ons and 49er market and they do this 12 by 12 sheet and I've also got the 6 by 8 pad. So I've got plenty of choice there. So because I want a like a delicate feeling to this layout, I'm going to add the, the rub-ons to vellum. So the set comes with a little um, implement so that you can attach them, uh, you know, rub them, which because they're obviously they're rub-ons. So I'm just going to space these on this piece of vellum and I've come in with a little white tool that comes in the set and um, just slowly but surely um, going to rub those on and then lift the plastic over the top. It is worth taking your time because if it doesn't all lift you can go back in and add it if you haven't lifted the top layer totally. 
So obviously one extreme to another, I'm going for a really large flower cluster there and I've got the smaller flower. I do do a number of pieces, I won't do it all on camera um, only because it's just, you don't, you, you know, you know how to use a rub on I'm sure, but they do take me back to when I first started scrapbooking. Um, Rub-ons were much pop really popular then and they seem to go out of favour and 49er Market have really bought them back and uh, they work really well. So here's a handful of uh, rub-ons that I've done and I've also got some ephemera and some of that, that chip, thin chipboard pieces there as well that I'd like to use. So just with my um, distressing tool I'm just going in around that circle that gets rid of the pencil mark and then I'm going to stick the foam on the back. Now you'll see that I'm just adhering it in two corners at the moment. They're the two corners which I'm not planning to embellish on the circle so that means that the other corners I can actually put some of the embellishments and still tuck them in. So now I'm starting with the bottom layer so obviously I need to attach the foam to that so I'm just going to do that top and bottom because I still want to attach bits underneath that layer like the photograph so there you saw with I lifted it with my fingers and now coming in with the uh, ring layer and I'm only going to uh, stick that down in a couple of places as well. I will go back in and add more sticky tape later on uh, to make it firmer before it goes in an album and in fact I'm even now thinking about popping this in a frame um, but just so I could actually get all the pieces in I, it was easier just to put less tape or less glue at this stage than um, putting too much on. So that's all the layers so I need to just add, add this one again in a couple of corners I hope this is making sense to you guys just to help me when I come to lift things in. Can you see there that I've lifted that corner up? So I'm going to um, add a few bits. So when I was cutting out the flowers to do the rub-ons there was lots of little splodges on the paper. Now I kept them all but I didn't want to put them back in the packet because I felt if the back came off them then they would just get stuck to something else. So I thought it might be nice to add them to the ring layer so I'm just trimming them down. They're literally just, you won't even notice them, little splatters that go really well with the whole range. But I didn't want to waste them really and they just rub so nicely. So I'm just adding them to some of the plainer pieces of that layer. So I would really recommend you check out this range in Halo or Magpie. Um, they've got, well, a wonderful selection of all scrapbooking supplies, but um, I would recommend you checked out this uh, Alina range by 49er Market. I've really enjoyed designing with it and I will have another layout later in the month to show you with this same range. So now that I've got those rub-ons on I'm now looking at getting the photograph um, layered up and I've printed it a little bit bigger and initially I think it was only a three and a half by two and a half inch photo and I've upped it to a three by four so that it fills a little bit more of the base layer. So the idea is I'm going to tuck those through layer, layers in and I've just put a bit of double sided tape on there so I can attach that from the start. Now the plan is to start to layer up around it. On the diagonal is the plan because that's where the most decoration was already on the base layer. So um, I've got obviously some of these leaves are from the um, chipboard sheet that I've gently popped out. They're so delicate, they're beautiful. Um, I've got the vellum uh, rub-ons and I've got some of the actual die cuts. This leaf at the bottom was a die cut um, and I actually trimmed some of the white off some of them um, off camera. Just I felt they were just the edges were just a touch thick um, for this because I wanted to create such a delicate feel. So as you can see I'm tucking things in uh, under each of the layers. Uh, because of the vellum being obviously see-through I'm just using a few uh, glue dots just under the um, centres of the flowers just to position that gently. I want it to have a feel that's not s totally stuck down. Uh, I want to, it's not very, there's enough depth in the layout without me adding too much on the top. But by adding just a few glue dots it just feels light and that's the feel I wanted the vellum to have. So you can see me there lifting up one of the layers to tuck in some of the leaves. Just put a little bit of tape on some of these. As I say I'm not trying to stick it down and make it solid. Uh, I just want that feeling of uh, flowers. Now obviously these flowers aren't necessarily the colour of the wedding flowers in the photograph but I don't feel that that really matters at all. I just think it gives that feel um, that goes with this the wedding photograph. But there's lots of other types of photos you could use uh, and use a similar system 
with the three layers. I just love the way it makes you feel like you're looking through the undergrowth um, to um, see the picture of her in the car. So I'm just enjoying uh, placing these around, just trying to fill some gaps, trying to spread them out a little bit. Um, I'm not too persuaded by the outer e edge paper because there's some extra leaves on there. I'm not going to spread the uh, embellishments that far, but I'm quite happy with the way that those clusters are coming together. That top one I think is pretty much done. So now I'm going to concentrate on this one at the bottom. Um, I'm going to tuck a few bits in underneath the photograph or at the bottom edge of it and then um, just round to that side. So this is the first wedding we've had in our family for a very long time and I was honoured as mother of the groom to be involved in a lot of the planning and organisation um, in advance and even the car that my daughter-in-law is sitting in was um, gifted by a dear scrapbooking friend. Her husband has done the car up and he even drove it for them on the day which was just made it even more special and um, it will definitely be more photos of this wedding appearing in my scrapbooking in the next few weeks and months because it was just such a huge day it was just wonderful and um, yeah loads of memories that I'd like to get scrapped and this is essentially the first one that I've done and this is the bride arriving at the church so um, not that I will be scrapping them in any order but uh, um, it was one that just uh, I saw in the album that really took my eye. So I'm happy with the clusters now. So I've come back in with a bit of double sided tape to stick the layers below together, make it a little bit more solid. I think I find there's a little bit I want to, um, a few little bits I want to add a few more splatters. And I've stuck the title down and there you can see all the depth. So here's the finished layout. Thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, give us a thumbs up. I'm happy to answer any comments. Do subscribe to my channel. Do check out this range at Hey Little Magpie. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.